Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to discuss the, all the discourse surrounding season 11 of Love Island UK and why I think the discourse is problematic. Now for the people who don't watch Love Island UK or who don't know anything about the discourse, I'm going to briefly explain what it is that I'm talking about. So earlier this month, season 11 of Love Island UK came out and in several social media posts, viewers have expressed shock at the ages of some of the female contestants. Specifically, Samantha, who's 27, Jess, who's 25, Harriet, who's 24, and Nicole, who's also 24. Personally, I was also surprised at the ages of the girls and the reason why I think and why other people think the girls are much older is because of the excessive Botox and filler in their face. So before I make my argument on why I think the discourse surrounding the girls is problematic, first I want to talk about what Botox is, who can perform it, and why people get Botox in the first place. So Botox injections, according to the Mayo Clinic, are shots that use a toxin called botulinum to prevent a muscle from moving for a limited time. So who can perform Botox? In the US, Botox and filler can only be administered legally by a licensed medical professional. So doctors, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, and dentists. However, in the UK, Botox is much more accessible and anyone can legally administer Botox. In fact, Non-medical professionals can take a one or two day course to achieve their certification in Botox and filler injections. And several injectors actually achieve their certification at this company called Derma Medical, which according to its website, is the UK's number one cosmetic training provider. As for the cost of Botox, in the US, the price may vary, but in big cities, Botox costs 10 to $15 per unit or per area of your face. So if you're getting Botox in your forehead, on the low end, it may cost you around $300, but on on the higher end, it may cost you like $600. And in the UK, the cost of Botox is much more affordable. Prices can range from 100 to 350 euros. So why exactly do people get Botox? So for more practical reasons, Botox is used to treat people's neck spasms, sweating, an overactive bladder, a lazy eye, and several other medical conditions. But most commonly, Women in their 40s and 50s get Botox to smooth wrinkles on their face in order to keep up with society's standards of beauty, which is to look young, have smooth skin, full lips, high cheekbones, sharp jawlines, small button nose, etc, etc. However, with the advent of social media, the age demographics of Botox and filler users is increasingly changing. So on the social media app TikTok, for example, several influencers have created videos sharing their experience with baby Botox and preventative Botox, which is basically getting Botox in your early 20s to prevent fine lines and wrinkles from forming in the future. So what was once a taboo procedure that not many people talked about is now something that millennials and Gen Zers talk about openly. And this Botox filler renaissance, so to say, amongst young people isn't just a trend on TikTok. According to annual statistics from the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, it was reported that amongst the age group 20 to 29 years old, Botox procedures have seen a 28% increase since 2010. And in that same year, a 32% increase in dermal fillers. And many doctors have seen the change in the age demographics amongst users of Botox and filler. In a 2021 interview with ABC News, Dr. Dimitri Schwarzberg said that the median age of his patients has been declining for about four years. He believed that is 100% because of social media, especially filters. He explained that patients often come in with photos of themselves with Instagram filters on and ask him to make them look that way. He said his biggest request in 2021 was smooth skin, full lips, nice cheeks, and a sharp jawline. While preventative or baby Botox does work on preventing lines from getting deeper, it can also have the opposite desired effect. In a 2023 interview with Vogue, Patricia Wexler, a dermatologist said, if you do too much Botox on your forehead for many, many years, the muscles will get weaker and flatter. So Wexler also added that the skin can also appear thinner and looser. As a result, Botox can make you look older, even if that wasn't your intention. So all of this explains why so many users, including myself on social media, thought that the girls on Love Island were much older than they actually are. Now, I don't think there's an issue with thinking that the girls on Love Island look older than they actually are, but I do think there's an issue in the way that we talk about it. So on TikTok, it became a sort of challenge or trend for people to ask their friends and family how old they thought these girls were. And a lot of people, guessed outlandishly high ages that were over 40 and throughout the video they kind of like 
made fun of these girls for looking old. Now, as I said before, I definitely thought these girls looked older than their actual age, but I feel like some people's guesses or some people's videos were over the top and, and were basically bullying. Now, what makes this whole trend, this whole trend, Worse is that a plastic surgeon actually participated in it. Guess their age. Okay. Guess if they're natural or not. And then um, say what you think they have that. Okay. Okay, so the first girl is Jess. Uh, She's 38, lips, nose. Yeah, so obviously she had some work done, in my opinion. This is Harriet. 42, yes. Cheeks, lips, nose. Thick lashes, brows, okay, Botox. And then this is Nicole. Are those two different photos of the same person? Yes, they're so, one of both. No, this or is Nicole. Yes, yeah, they're the same person, but two different photos. This is like her on Instagram versus oh. her like, <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna look at a real photo? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, she's, She's 35, lips, veneers, Botox, maybe a little cheek filler. She is Samantha. Mm. 32, lips, veneers, nose, cheeks. Do you want to do Botox. Her ages just for fun? Yeah. Okay, so Samantha is 26. Oh god. And Nicole is 24. Oh my god. <laughs> Harriet is 24. Oh my god. And then Jess is 25. Wow. Yeah, I mean, obviously I don't watch this show, maybe I should, but this is crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, plastic plastic surgery and injectables done incorrectly can make you look older. So, um, boy, that was really off. Now, maybe it wasn't the surgeon's intention to make fun of these young women. This plastic surgeon is a part of the problem. He's reinforcing toxic beauty standards that are set in our society in order to line his pockets. So he's, his whole job is basically capitalizing off of women's insecurities. So personally, if I were in charge of this plastic surgeon's PR, number one, I wouldn't include him in this trend, or number two, if I still wanted to include him in this trend, I would use this as a way for him to delve more into the negative effects of Botox and fillers in young people in their early 20s, or basically discourage young people from getting procedures that they don't need. And I think that when consumers or when viewers see a doctor who won't just perform Botox on anybody just because they ask, it might actually get you more customers because they see that you have, that you're an ethical doctor and you're serious about your practice. In conclusion, I think that when we talk about young women like Samantha, Jess, Harriet, and Nicole, I think we need to shy away from belittling young women and approach the conversation with more empathy because at the end of the day, we've all fallen victim to society's standards of beauty. The only difference between take me, for example, and the girls on Love Island is that they take more extreme measures to fit into society's beauty standards. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on social media. And be happy, be healthy. Bye.